We're doing our first notes today, so you should have both this video playing and you should have your notebook open to this page. Fill in your paper as you go, and then whenever a question pops up, make sure that you answer it. The way you get 100% on your notes is you watch this entire video all the way through and you answer all the questions. You do that, you will get 100%. Let's jump into it. Science. If you'd like to abbreviate these definitions, that's fine too. I know there's a lot of words. Science is a system of knowledge and methods that we use to learn about the world. We have been using it to solve problems for a while, so science is really a way to figure out solutions to things that happen. Science and technology are interdependent, dependent on each other. Inter means like together, they're dependent on each other. So every time technology is advanced, science can advance. We couldn't see cells until we invented microscopes. You know, We couldn't do all the things that computers do before they were invented. Science has a lot of branches to it. It's a really broad thing. There's physical sciences, which is chemistry and physics. There's earth and space science, and then life science, which is where we are. So what is biology? Biology, study of living things. Ology means study of. Bio means life, so it means study of life. There are so many topics within that, though. You can talk about like uh, genetics and DNA. You can talk about cells, groups of cells, whole living things, whole ecosystems. There's so many things that fit in biology. So anything that is alive fits inside of biology. We will see more about what makes something alive in later notes, but for now, to review what is happening in the scientific method. It's a process that we're using to figure out science. We are finding data and we're gathering and organizing it and telling other people about it. You probably have seen the steps. We're going to go through some of the steps in our next notes. But here's an important part down here on the bottom. The steps do not have to happen in order. We kind of see usually when you talk about the scientific method that it's like one, then two, three, and four, and five. No, it's, it can be in any order. Maybe you get to the end and you come up with a new question or new hypothesis. You can, you can jump all around. You don't have to do it in that exact same order every single time. So if we are going to do an experiment in science, you can measure anything that you can collect data on. because That's kind of the whole point of this is to find information data. There are two main kinds of data, qualitative or qualities like descriptions, names, colors, but not anything with numbers. Quantitative data, quantities, the one with the N, quantities, numbers. This means like um, math, scores, graphs, weights, volumes, things like that. Or some science can have both. It just depends on what you're trying to find. I believe this is the end for today, yeah. An observation is something you see or hear or feel, something with your senses. Facts are observations that stay consistent over time. So if you look outside and you see water falling from the sky, that means it's raining. It's an observation in fact. What we can do with these in science, though, is turn them into a question if we see something weird. So for example, if it's raining, like it was yesterday, you may see people running through the rain or seeing people walking. So your question could be, does running actually help? Does running keep you drier or does walking keep you drier? Or does it matter? Hmm. I'm gonna leave you on that cliffhanger and we'll pick it up when we do our next notes to finish up scientific method stuff. Think about that, running or walking. Again, make sure you answer every single question. Make sure your notes are filled all the way in. If you finish faster than others, then you can sit quietly and do other things while you wait for us to finish up. I will see you next time we do notes.